Okay, so one of the ways that we can deploy documents, which is extremely convenient because it sort of uh, makes them all into one universal form format, is using something from Macromedia called Flash Paper. It gets shipped as part of a product named Contribute, and I believe it's also part of the MX Studio product. So if you go to macromedia.com and click on Products, and then scroll down to Contribute to, and then come into this page, you'll notice that on the right-hand side here, it has a little link called Macromedia Flash Paper, and if we click on that, it brings us to a page that gives us information on this technology. Now basically, as you can see here from the benefits section, it says that Flash Paper is basically something that converts printable documents to Swift so that you can deploy them via your website or your CD-ROMs and so forth. There's a sample of the uh, Flash Paper interface. Okay, so if you want to check this out, you can go to the Contribute area here and download the free trial, and you'll have the trial version of Flash Paper. Okay, we've got the version of Flash Paper here that we, we got with our MX Studio, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to convert documents using this Flash Printer application. So there's an icon to our Flash Printer application here on our desktop, and I've prepared a few documents here. Let's go ahead and convert three different types of documents, and these are typical types of documents that most people are using. First thing we'll use is a PDF file. So we'll just go ahead and drag that onto the icon of the Flash Printer application, and we'll see what happens here. It takes a couple seconds, and the Flash Printer application will actually open up, convert the PDF, and it will show us a preview of our PDF converted as a Swift document. So that's what we've got here. So as you can see, I can walk through the pages using the interface here, or I can size the, um, the graphic to the page using those little icons or the slider. I can print using this print icon, and I can also grab it with the hand tool here and move it around. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to File, Save, and we'll just go ahead and leave the default name of PDF, and we'll press Save. I'm going to go ahead and close that down. As you can see, there's now a Swift file next to our PDF file, and we can go ahead and click on that, and it will launch itself in the Macromedia Flash Player like this, and it basically acts like any other Swift movie. Now, if you size it to 100%, You'll probably get your best results vis-a-vis uh, -vis the sharpness of the text and so forth. Uh, Macromedia Flash Paper is meant to convert documents for easy printing and easy visibility. It's not necessarily a format where they're where they're concerned with getting the graphics 100%. As you can see, they're they're uh, maybe about 80%, but that's okay for our purposes. This is a pretty handy way to deploy these documents, and certainly our clients and customers will be able to tell what they're looking at. Okay, so this is just one option that we're looking at also, and we'll also look at uh, other different ways to deploy PDFs, for example. So I'm going to close that down, and let's go ahead and convert a PowerPoint and a Word document. The next one is the PowerPoint, so I'll drag that onto the Flash Printer, and in a couple of seconds, you'll see that the Flash Printer application will open up, and it'll convert the PowerPoint document to Swift format and it's ready to go. As you can see here again, we can walk through the pages using these buttons and so forth. All we have to do now is press File, Save, and go ahead and name our file. In this case, I'm going to name it PPT for PowerPoint, and then I can close down our Flash Paper application, and there we go. We've got a new Swift file here next to our PowerPoint application. And finally, we'll use a Word document. So I'm, again, I'm just dragging that onto the icon. In the case of a Word document, it quickly opens up your Microsoft Word application during the conversion process, but it also closes it down, as you can see. And there we go. It's been converted now to Swift format. We can go to File, Save, and we'll name this Doc, D-O-C, and press Save. So as you can see, it was a quick and painless process, and we can go ahead and just launch these documents now in our Flash Viewer and go ahead and view them. As you can see here, our Word document, as it's been converted, looks quite quite good. It's nice and attractive, easy to read, and certainly very usable. Now it's in a universal format that can be deployed on any website, CD-ROM, uh, inside of your applications, and so forth. So it's a really convenient way to go ahead and approach the issue of deploying multiple documents in your application. In this case, the nice thing is that we've brought all these different document types under one roof and we can kind of deploy them via the same flash object so we could basically set up one single page in our project one single dependency check and deploy all these different formats 
Okay, so let's go on to the next video tutorial where we'll actually install these into an autoplay application, a sample application, and see how it works.